Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so forgive the scenery change, I'm in a hotel right now, uh, so I don't have quite the setup you're used to, but I wanted to push this video out because I think there is actually some urgency behind it. I think in the past couple of weeks, we've all seen a lot of stories about people's positions being liquidated because they were over leveraged. So I wanted to make this video to provide my viewers with a way to safely apply leverage to their positions uh, without the risk of liquidation. Now I encourage you to stay tuned because I will be including a strategy that I think is really insightful and helpful if you want to purchase this fly token. So that'll be towards the end of the video if you're interested in learning more how to take advantage of this new asset. Before we get into that, I do want to highlight the DeFi innovation chat. Uh, this has been a great resource for me just to bounce ideas off the community. And then I think we've all had a great time sharing uh, different investment research and different DeFi protocols, etc. Uh, so if you're interested, the link to that is in the description below. So jumping right back into this, um, as you can see here, uh, the product we're going to be talking about today is on IndexCoop. Now, if you're not familiar with IndexCoop, they're most famous for their product called the DeFi Pulse Index or DPI. And as you can see here, the DPI holds a basket of DeFi assets and it's sort of seen as the benchmark uh, for how the DeFi industry is doing as a whole. As you can see here, the DeFi Pulse Index has a market cap of $142 million and $4.5 million worth of volume. Now the product we're going to be called today is referred to as the FLY, or the ETH2X Flexible Leverage Index. Now if you purchase this token, which is a standard ERC-20, uh, it basically gives you exposure to 2X leverage on Ethereum without actually taking on any debt yourself. Now if I scroll down here, you can see how it actually does this. Uh, so it basically uses Compound, which is one of the most established projects in DeFi, and it deposits ETH into Compound. The project then borrows USDC against that ETH it put up as collateral, and then it sells that USDC for more ETH. What that effectively does is it gives you about 2x leverage on ETH. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I go through the index coop instead of doing this myself? Well, the big advantage here is you're not responsible for managing that debt. Uh, so what that means is you'll never be responsible for paying down the interest rate, and you'll also never be responsible for monitoring that position to make sure it doesn't get liquidated. So this is a really easy and convenient approach to getting extra exposure uh, to ETH. If there's say a 20% downturn in the market tomorrow, which is very common, in and not out of the ordinary you don't have to worry about monitoring your collateral and making sure that you're properly collateralized i think this is really important to highlight because as i mentioned before we've seen billions of dollars of liquidations happen in just a matter of hours so uh, if you don't have a bot protecting your position or you're not constantly following the markets you might get liquidated now this strategy helps eliminate that risk now for providing the service you can see there's a 1.95% annual fee on maintaining this position. I think this is pretty reasonable and for the peace of mind of not having to monitor my own collateral, uh, this, this seems like a great option. If you are interested in learning more, I'll include a link to their introductory post introducing the flexible leverage index concept. I will include a link to their Gitbook as well. Um, as with any project or protocol, please read all of the docs that are available to you. I want to highlight that this concept is actually taken from traditional US equities markets. Uh, if you see here the ticker SPUU, this is basically a 2x leverage position on the S&P 500. And this is a widely traded ETF. So this type of strategy is not new. This is really just being brought to DeFi for the first time in a convenient way. So just to make this easier to compare, I put the ETH uh, 2x leveraged index next to ETH. Now, as you can see here, uh, the 24 hour returns, seven day returns, 14 day returns, and 30 day returns should be about double for the ETH 2x leveraged index. And as you can see here, that generally holds true. There is a bit of deviation from simply 2xing the returns of ETH, uh, but it's pretty close. So that's pretty reassuring to me that this fund will continue to return two times uh, the performance of ETH in the positive direction and the negative direction. So just to clarify, if ETH goes up 20%, this index should go up 40%. And if ETH goes down 20%, this index should go down 40%. If we go to the Uniswap Fly ETH pair, you can see there's $22 million of liquidity, $8 million of 24-hour volume, and then $24,000 of feed accrued to LP providers. Now, I want to talk a bit about why someone would want to provide liquidity for this pair. It's actually really fascinating, but it's not that intuitive. Um, so I'm going to explain really where the advantages are. Now, a lot of LP providers are worried about impermanent loss. Now, the thing about this pair is because both assets are based on the return of ETH, you're actually really minimizing 
how much impermanent loss you could face on your position. What that means is that with this pair, you can really get a ton of great exposure to ETH without facing impermanent loss for providing liquidity, and you also collect all of those liquidity fees as well. So I used a simple calculator to calculate your estimated fees uh, from one year of providing liquidity to this pair, and right now that's about 17.28% as you can see here. The great thing about providing liquidity to this pair is you're getting exposure to 2x leveraged ETH and regular ETH. With this pair, you're really actually getting 1.5x leverage on ETH, which in my opinion is a great balance of risk and reward. The reason for this is simply because you're holding a 2x leveraged asset and a no leverage asset, so the average of that is 1.5x leverage. What this means is that the drawdowns won't be as sharp and then the returns won't be as great either. But because you're providing liquidity, you are receiving a pretty significant APR of about 17% on these underlying assets. So this is a great option if you're extra bullish on the future of ETH and you want a return for that as well. Now I mentioned that you won't suffer too much impermanent loss with this pool because both of the assets have very correlated returns. Now I pulled up a pretty simple impermanent loss calculator. Uh, it says for balancer pools, but this also works for Uniswap. Uh, you can see here, if you're equally weighted in ETH and FLY, and the price of ETH jumps by 200%, the price of FLY would go up by 400% because it doubles the return of ETH. And you can see if all of that happens, the impermanent loss you'd be facing is only 3.18%, which is pretty negligible, especially when you take into the account that you're receiving swap fees from Uniswap. Now, this level of impermanent loss is so small, it might not even be worth worrying about. Uh, you can see we can change these values if ETH goes up by 400%, which is a 4x of the current price, and the fly then responds by going up 8x. Your level of impermanent loss is only about 4%, which again, negligible. If you're worried about a drawdown in the market, you can see impermanent loss is pretty negligible for that as well. Uh, so let's just say a 20% decrease in ETH and a 40% increase in FLY, and you'd only have about 1% of impermanent loss, so again, negligible. Now the next thing I wanted to share is that the same strategy for BTC is coming to Index Coop as well. So that means everything I just discussed for the 2x ETH fund will now apply to their upcoming 2x BTC fund. So again, very exciting, and I hope this is useful for you guys to de-risk your positions if you do want to lever up on BTC or ETH. So that's all I have for you, a pretty simple video today. If you're interested, again, uh, you can check the link in the description below to join that innovation chat, and then I encourage you to subscribe as well to make sure you're notified about future videos. So thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.